And now it's time for the General Assembly of the Global Editors Network. So this uh, General Assembly is for members of GEN, and as you know, we are 600 members, but it is really open, really open to everybody if you want to know more about our association. So I'm calling the president, Xavier Vidal Folk, to join us. And before we start, before we start, we, we, we will have a short movie offered by Zuma, Zuma Agency, Press Agency. It's about the year 2011. It was one of the most incredible year for news. So we will have this short movie as a, to breath. Uh, as a, an introduction to, uh, to our General Assembly. Thank you, and we can have this movie.
Uh, where are you, Scott? Where are you? Come, come here, come here. So, thank you very much for this uh, movie. Just one word. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, basically, 1989 was the biggest news year I covered as a photographer, and this last year felt like it almost eclipsed that. And you know, I wanted to uh, put together something to not so much celebrate, but make us remember at the same time all the things that happened because it was a really crazy year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so. Almost 80 people in this room, not, not all of you GEN members, but uh, really, if you, want, if you want to become a GEN member, I think you have all uh, the URLs you need for registering. But now it's time uh, for a formal General Assembly, and I give the floor to our President, uh, Xavier. Merci, Bertrand. It, it lacked one picture, but I do think that it doesn't exist. It was the picture uh, 16 months ago in which of the dinner of eight people who decided to create this new organization, which is Global Editors Network. Uh, some minutes ago, one of our friends, new friends, uh, told me, it's amazing, just in 16 months. It's, uh, this is, we are going to summarize a bit and to discuss about the, a bit of the generation of this uh, amazing little miracle. Uh, my summary is that in less than year, an, a year and a half, we have uh, the ship out of the harbor, already going through the sea. Uh, we have an organization which uh, it's already established. It has celebrated, is celebrating uh, its second conferences. It has celebrated one half a year ago, and we are in the second one. You see the outcome, you can touch it, you can touch it, it, the awards on that journalism, the conference, the coalition, the going on coalition on ethical journalism. I mean, there is an active, active society, an active association. But the most important, probably, is not the actions that we are doing, but the process of building a community of editors, a worldwide community of editors uh, without internal boundaries, without divisions. This has been possible, thing, uh, th thank you to you, to the members of the Global Editors Network, uh, thanks to the, a very engaged board. Uh, thank you to a fantastic team uh, headed by uh, Bertrand Pecquerie. A fantastic work has been done by he and the collaborators. I have to thank them, not just for today and yesterday uh, and but for the day-to-day -day, uh, activities. Uh, before leaving uh, Bertrand to summarize the activities of the year and uh, uh, approve the decisions that uh, we are going to discuss, I'd like, I would like also uh, to thank, to give a real and um, very felt uh, thank to all the people who have trusted in our activity and in, on our project, the speakers, the institutions, 
mostly the Senate and the city of Paris and his mayor, the sponsors, the staff, I have already said, the translators, everybody who has collaborated these days in the conference and on a day by date uh, basis. Also, our legal uh, advisors and accountants were there and give us the tranquility that we are in the good shape. And um, that's all. Uh, Bertrand will develop the, uh, the most important things the, of the activities uh, of this year. I remain here to cooperate with him. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Xavier. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, in uh, 15 months, we developed uh, several programs. So not one program per month, but uh, almost one new program every two months. And for a new association, it, it was not so, so easy. So I will, st um, and at the moment, uh, uh, for, for setting up an international uh, worldwide association, it was very important um, to develop the brand. Uh, and here uh, you, you can see that the, one of the main goal is to break down barriers between newsrooms, between kind of editors, editors from print, editors from broadcast, pure player, developers. This association is not only an association of editors-in-chief, but it's also uh, an association linking developers, startups. And it is very important. You could see yesterday night how old are the guys who won the awards. Uh, they, they are so young, but they have the same pa passion for journalism. They are doing data journalism. At the moment on the planet, you have 1,000 guys and women uh, doing data journalism, not more, on uh, more than 800,000 uh, journalists. 1,800,000 jo journalists. So they are really at the beginning of a new thing. And, uh, and they were there, and we could award them. And it's very important to have not only editors between 40 and 60 year old, but to have young guys with the same passion for journalism. And it is really the goal of this association, I would say. It is based on annual conferences because an association, you need to network, you need to meet people, and it is the reason why we had a first meeting nine months after the birth of the association in Hong Kong. Uh, it was end of November. And six months after here in Paris. So in, in six months, we had uh, two international conferences, uh, 200 people in Hong Kong. Some of you were there. Uh, Werner, for instance. Uh, Thank you for uh, you were in uh, in Hong Kong uh, and now you are in Paris and here you you don't have 200 people 200 editors you have 400 editors so it's a double so I don't promise to have the double next year but we we'll, we will be more no no doubt and now the association is set up because the brand is recognized then. We developed this program with Google, uh, the Data Journalism Awards. So the goal is to be forward thinking. Forward thinking, and here it was impossible for a new association to miss this new continent that is, which is data journalism. So we set up the uh, first awards, and now uh, for ne we, we, we receive more than 300 projects. We expected 60. So 
five more than expected, and next year uh, we, we will receive more than the double. I have no doubt. We received so many requests um, at the end of uh, April, uh, beginning of May, saying uh, we wanted to be part of the contest. Too late. Yeah. But uh, n for next year, uh, I can promise really uh, the Data Journalism Awards will, uh, uh, will become uh, bigger and bigger. And here we worked with Google and as you can see also the European Journalism Center. And uh, we could award through Google uh, the six winning projects. Uh, an interesting program just developed, you, you had visual revenue a few minutes ago in front of you, and here we worked with different uh, French associations to, to, uh, to select the projects, just editorial services, nothing related to marketing, nothing related to um, pure business issues, but really editorial services. And uh, I hope some of the project, not all evidently, but some of the project uh, will be of s some interest for you. And, and we will develop this program. Uh, we need to develop this program because it is part of our genes. And here an important project uh, developed recently. We started in May to discuss with Aidan Aidan White, he just here, uh, just arriving. Uh, so we started uh, the program, uh, the idea of this program in May 2011. Uh, so one year ago, and now it's growing and growing, uh, thanks to thanks to Aidan. Uh, uh, here it is not a Gen project, because it is a coalition. We want to work on ethical issues uh, with other associations. EBU, European Broadcast Union, ONA, Online News Association, World Association of Newspapers. So we want to work with different associations on ethical issues, saying after the scandal of the news of the world, we cannot remain saying it's an exception. It's impossible. New scandals w will happen. So we need to think about ethical issues. Because uh, until now, technology, technology, technology saying, why thinking about uh, ethical issues? You, you, every year you have a new invention, you have a new technology, and it shakes uh, our conception of ethics. No, we have to think about ethics. Uh, right now, and I'm not w waiting for the next scandal. And so, Aidan had, uh, I think, two or three meetings with uh, editors uh, during this conference, and tomorrow at UNESCO, we have another meeting, uh, the real launch, the real launching of the coalition, and the website opening end of June. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, and here the editor's lab. Uh, this ID, uh, the second main ID after the cross-platform ID from uh, the Gen uh, for Gen is to mutualize, to cooperate between editors, and he, uh, the, the goal. Um, um, I explained this concept uh, yesterday during the live blogging uh, session, saying. Journalistic tools must be conceived, set up, developed by journalists. We don't have to think that just dev developers, engineers can do, uh, can develop tools, journalistic tools. It is our duty to be involved in this invention and, and development. And so, uh, here you had the first example, and we have this uh, afternoon, I think, uh, uh, an atelier, a workshop, uh, it is in Salon Chéré, for people interested in this new live blogging tool, offered for free, to, to, to not only to our members, but really to the, 
community of editors. It, it was this idea of a free software uh, um, was agreed when we signed a contract with uh, um, Google, because Google is sponsoring uh, this initiative. And here, I think I have finished. You can uh, see the main uh, contacts, press contact, myself, uh, Aidan for the coalition, and Antoine. I will ask Antoine to, to, to join us on stage because Antoine is, is in charge of several programs, as you can see. Uh, so, Startup for News, Data Journalism Awards, and Editors Lab. So, not bad. <laughs> and so, thank you, Antoine. And uh, uh, I, I will finish uh, this presentation saying that uh, uh, at the moment, at Gen, uh, we are three people. Only three people. Three salaries. Three salaries, not more. Because, uh, as you know, I worked uh, uh, at One IFRA, uh, your organization with 100 people, and I said, it's finished. If you want to be efficient, if you want to be uh, reactive, proactive, developing a program in one month, in two months, you need to have very few people, consultants, and all the rest is outsourced. Don't do logistics, don't do uh, things that are not just a brain in, your, in, in this kind of association. So uh, one of the genes of Gen is to say it's a 21st century association with this idea that uh, very few consultants, a core, and then we develop programs with partners. But we don't have a staff of uh, uh, 10s and 20s and 30 people, because after, you are dead. And that's uh, uh, the, the concept of uh, the Global Editors Network. Do you agree with my report, Mr. President? I do agree. <laughs> and I do congratulate you. You are your team. I ask you all to symbolize this, how, how happy are, are we, by clapping to the top. Uh, now, I have to communicate you uh, one communicate to, to the assembly one decision that has been taken this morning by the board of the GEN in use of uh, its competence uh, as established in the statutes. Uh, after the current president, who is me, uh, had announced some months ago that he would resign after the launching period here um, in the fringes of the of the Paris conference. We have decided by uh, complete consensus, uh, by unanimity, to elect Ricardo Kirschbaum as the new president acting after this general assembly. I call Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo is a, a, a very experienced journalist, a journalist in the field. He is the He's uh, the director, the editor in chief, the director of um, the Argentinian leading newspaper Clarín, and uh, he's a courageous man with a lot of energy and a very sympathetic one, which is a good thing. Also, Ricardo, estoy encantado de pasarte la antorcha. Gracias. Good morning, bonjour. Buenos días. It is an honor for me have been elected 
president of the organiza this organization and a very demanding challenges. Succeeding Javier as a president of Global Editors Network imply a great responsibility and also a strong commitment. It is a responsibility because Javier was an intelligent and a brave president. I have the honor of taking part of a small group, so-called the Gang of Seven, of founder of the GEN in a very cold February morning in Paris, only a little more than my years ago. I remember we were very few of them, Harald from Norway, Alejo from Peru, Nadi from Morocco, Atsu from Nigeria, Javier from Barcelona, Francois from France, and me from Argentina. We wanted an, an organization of editor with me. Okay. Um, we want an organization of editors of any platform, an organization capable of helping journalists to work in this digital age. Hong Kong was the first step, our first summit. Paris is the confirmation of the fact that we are growing fast. The 400 participants of this summit are the evidence of that reality. And we are achieving this, this thanks, Javier and the GEN team headed by Bertrand. I am an editor of a most important newspaper in Latin America and the executive editor of the successful news website of the Spanish-speaking world. Being the president of this organization is a great honor for me because I come from a continent where every hour, every day, we need to support the basic rules of the journalism and the freedom of, of speech and opinion. It is my commitment to keep looking for me of excellence in order to be able to find answer for the challenge that journalists face nowadays. I have always believed that the journalist must understand very clearly the basic rules of this profession, whatever a platform where they work, and they should be honest and observant of the ethical rules that make this profession one of the best. Whatever the platform, freedom of opinion and free access to information are rights that must be defended, as well as the training and the search of new ways to take up the challenge of this new age. Thank for your confidence and thanks to you for all. I give the floor, uh, Mr. Yes, yes, sir. Now, uh, just one word, Mr. President. So, our next board meeting will be in Buenos Aires, 28th of uh, September. And uh, um, my recommendation we need money. Help us to find money at Gen. And everybody here, that's our problem. It's not a question of uh, having ideas, having uh, concepts. The problem always is to find money to finance uh, these ideas. So uh, please come to us. Uh, Jen needs money. And uh, we try to find partners, some good partners, as you can see with the Merit Paris. Uh, so we know to do that. But we need money to develop programs. And uh, last word to our former president. Uh, we, should, uh, we should give the floor 
to the uh, to, to the whole. So, in order to any comment, any object, with your permission, President, um, could I ask you if you have uh, any comment, any any will, any desire, any objection? So, if not, we declared closed this this assembly and the conference. It will continue. Okay. Bon appétit.